The current exhibit at the Centennial Arts Center in Nashville shows until the end of March 2011 and features three uniquely talented professional artists, John Watts, Hannah Rowell, and Matthew Gore. The opening reception celebrated the stark contrast between these three artists' work and showed the individual excellence that each brings to their style of work. The gallery manager, Lena Lucas, remarked that this would be a powerful and thought-provoking exhibit. Each artist creates their work built upon highly developed technical skills and strong personal philosophical foundations. This exhibit kicks off the 2011 exhibit series. Exhibits at the Centennial Arts Center historically display the works of some of the most original and skilled artists working in this richly talented southern region of the United States. The works of sculptor John Watts ranges from the eclectic to the traditional with an intermediate stop at what appears to be an homage to German Expressionism, reminiscent of Fritz Lang's 1927 film, Metropolis. This man-machine, attached to a dirigible and actually installed against the ceiling overlooking and overlording the entire gallery, floats in space, suspending the art as well as the imagination of the viewers. All the while, this figure appears to grapple with the contrivances of the imposed mechanics of postmodern society. Meticulous in detail in the activity being performed by his sculpture subjects, as well as the whimsy of disappointment at a fork dropped on the floor such a long way from the table, bring both smiles and quizzical looks from the gallery patrons. Hannah Rowell grew up in the woods of Middle Tennessee with nature as a constant companion and inspiration. She works exclusively in charcoal today, though her education was largely in oil painting. However, as a mother of twins, who spend their daily playtime in her studio while she works, her priorities shifted. I just wanted to get away from the toxicity of oil paints, and so I kind of came back to my roots of drawing, which, you know, I had, of course, you know, most painters started with drawing, so came back to that. And, uh, and just started experimenting more with charcoal. I'd never really done any large-scale charcoal drawings, but I found that I could do them really fast. I could do them really inexpensively, and I could do them uh, without making, you know, having any toxic materials around. Charcoal forces the artist to capture detail in texture without relying on color. Uh, with the contrast, you know, charcoal is, can be so thick and dark and rich. Um, I, I think that even without the color, it can still has a lot of powerful effect because it's so dramatic. Many artists shy away from charcoal as a medium because it can be hard to control. One of the things that I love most about it is that it is hard to control. It's challenging. It's like, sometimes I think of it as like a really difficult math problem. Like I have to figure out, I have to plan the difficulty and the, um, the planning involved really challenge me. Matthew Gore's work goes far beyond mere photorealism. While realistic in style, his paintings possess an essence of reality that almost makes the viewer believe they can reach into the painting and touch the subjects. I'm interested in my work in, in conveying a sense of reality and really heightening that sense of reality, principally through modulating the tonality of the image, of really pushing the darks a little bit darker than you might experience them, bringing the lights a little bit lighter than you might experience them, and that kind of, that, that 
helps create a sense of contrast. The way that I like to put it is I'm not only painting the objects, but I'm trying to paint the air that's around them. Gore has an interesting perspective on the act of painting. One of the things I like to say is that painting is really a performance art because you are recording your performance in paint. Obviously, Gore is fond of the tableau setting to organize his compositions. I think that the way that I compose my work is very classically oriented. I'm really drawing upon precedents from, from Dutch art, from uh, American art. Certainly there were a lot of, of 19th century uh, American still life artists who did very meticulous work, kind of in the manner that I do. The show continues through March 23, 2011 at the Centennial Art Center in Nashville, Tennessee. For more information, aim your search engine toward Centennial Art Center in Nashville.